30 years I've been running around, it feels really empty inside. Yes. Empty, looking for something to fulfill yourself. Yeah, you believe in atheism, you believe in Christianity or something, but people, you still walk around like a zombie. Somehow, somehow you try to do a lot of things. I tried to party, I tried to work, still didn't fulfill me. And then I hear that the Azan that one day, one Friday suddenly, and my hair stands up and stick in. Allahu Akbar, Allah. Yes, yeah, correct. But every night? Nothing. Nothing. Okay. Only, only one, one, then one, one particular day suddenly the Azan and my hair stands up and I was like, whoa, what's happening? Uh, okay. That's when I started searching more, researching more. Because at that time, yeah, the line of industry I was in was more of a naughty boy, you can say. <laughs> so, and on the 11th of November, 2011, I was walking into the conversion center in Dubai with the intention of getting two books, just for deeper knowledge, gaining more knowledge. And waited some time before the elderly gentleman, all dressed in white, he's just by a white beard, came out. He said, Okay, follow me in the room. There was another guy sitting in front of lots of books reading. Really. He started asking me a few questions. So I thought maybe he's testing my knowledge before he can give me the book. He started asking me a few questions. Do you know the Shahada? I was like, yeah. I practice it. Yeah. So, okay, repeat after me. So I repeat after him. Then he turns around, looks at the other guy. I see him nodding. And then he looks at me and he asks me, so what is your name? And me, full confident like that. Peter, no, no. What is your Muslim name? I must have looked at him like, out of yeah. look, clueless. clueless, what's happening? And then he explained to me, so you just proclaimed the Shahada, you just accepted Islam as your faith of choice, the truth path. So you should have a Muslim name. So first thing come to my mind, Yusuf. First thing just Yusuf. Okay, and your second name? Mohammed. <laughs> so if I look back, back then I said, is this an accident? It wasn't plan, it was not uh, intention. But now knowing what Islam is all about, I am aware that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala opens the hearts for the people he wants. And on that day, after being about three years in Dubai, I just, actually no, that was the day I realized, after about three years in Dubai, that was the day I realized Islam is, being a Muslim is what fills my inner search for me. I envy everybody who's a born Muslim. Because they, from the beginning on, they've been exposed to the truth. They can, they are being educated, they're being shown the path, the manners, the attitude, what it's like to be a Muslim. Mm. They're supposed to be able to understand the message of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala provided you in the Quran. Because me, it took me 30 years to find the truth. And then I gave it away again. So I had to add another seven years before I really embraced this life. Everybody who's born as a Muslim has something very beautiful at time. That really, really, I really envy. Thank you so much. Wa alaikum salam. Now, after hearing all my story, I do hope that I can inspire you a little bit of your search for your true Imam, for your Islam and at the same time give back to the Madrasa al Sakhof where also there are young Ustazas trying to search their Imam and trying to contribute to society as well. So it is a give and take for everybody. Thank you.